was fundamental and they were loving and they were supportive and they were honest. But I was always really fortunate to grow up in a home where there wasn't a lot of secrets. Um, and my family was fundamental in their beliefs when it came to religion. I um, decided to come out my sophomore year. I told my best friend in second period and I said, you can't tell anyone. And she says, I promise I won't tell anyone. It's just our secret. And by third period, like, everyone knew. And I was called all these names and I was spit on and hit. And I realized that everyone knew my entire world had changed. The fighting had escalated from spitting and shoving and name calling to beatings. I was in so much pain. I remember feeling the blows and my body was just stinging from the pain. I remember going into the high school counselor's office and asking for the paperwork to remove myself from public high school. And like, I wanted to be someone. I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to be a lawyer. I wanted to be an advocate adoption rights. Like I had so many things that I wanted to be in my life and being a high school dropout or any of the titles that I was given over that last two years was, was not who I was. I met Ryan and he was like all these great things and, and we immediately bonded and it was like a BFF. We like partied together, we vacationed together, we made plans together. We were going to have like the same house but different wings, right, where we would live. Like we had all these crazy plans. I came into the house and it was dark and it was quiet and I was cooking and there was someone crying and, and I see Ryan in the corner and he's huddled and he's hysterical and he's crying and I got down on the floor and I was trying to ask what was happening and what was going on and Ryan just said, you know, it took almost 45 minutes, but finally I just heard the words, I have HIV. And it's like faster and it's panicked. I mean, it's pure panic. The hours pass and I finally look at Ryan and I said, well, when did you find out? And he says, oh, I actually didn't find out, but I put myself at risk and I feel different. And I know I have it. And I said, well, that's not going to work. I can't live in the world of assumption or maybes or will it or I said you have to go get tested. So um, two weeks before World AIDS Day, uh, we went to get an HIV test and I went in and the nurse looked at me once they took his HIV test and said, oh, okay Todd, it's your turn. And I said, oh no, HIV doesn't look like me. I'm not at risk. This isn't my problem. And the woman said, well anyone can look like HIV. And needless to say, I was tested and I went home. The, the call came from the clinic that the results were in. And no one says a word in the car. And we get to the clinic and we're sitting in the room. And Ryan is called first. And the door closed. And then five minutes later, Ryan came out. And he said to me, I don't have HIV. Right? And I was like, oh my god. We left the clinic. And I'm getting down to the car door. And all of a sudden, I hear the clinic door open and a woman yell. She put her hands on my shoulder and said, I'm sorry to tell you, you've tested positive for HIV. And there wasn't really a reaction. And I remember looking up at the sky and thinking, this can't be happening. Like, I didn't come here to get my test result. I came here to be a friend. Every emotion ran through anger, frustration, pain, deception, regret, everything. And I didn't know how to deal with the shame and the stigma. I was horribly embarrassed. And I remember passing mirrors but being too embarrassed to look in the mirror because I felt so much shame so I started collecting baseball caps in every color every style because I could pull my hat low enough so I would never pass a mirror and see myself and the hardest thing for me was that I didn't know how to deal with the shame and the guilt and the, the baseball caps were like in full force and so and whenever you're hurt it is always easier to blame than take responsibility in life always and I realized it wasn't about blame, it was about responsibility. I wasn't blaming the man who infected me, but I wasn't taking responsibility for my half of that relationship. I started to realize that I wasn't alone and that my story had an impact and I started to tell everyone, friends, family, and then all these people came out of the woodwork. Me loving myself would have kept me HIV negative at the end of the day because me not using a condom is not what got me HIV positive. Me not loving myself is what got me HIV positive. My name is Todd Burney. Does HIV look like me?